Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Gold Rush licensed autographed jersey. It's multi-sport edition. Um, six box case, which I have standing behind me right here. We can play a couple quick rounds of Who Am I? Nothing's uh, sold out after this, so we can take a little bit of time on this. We sold 36 spots outright, and everyone will get two players from this list below. If you looked at the checklist, it's pretty nice. In fact, I have it all lined up right here. So that's 72 total spots when we double everything up. And there's all the names right here from Timothy down to, and congrats uh, to the people who won spots again. And thank you to the people who bought spots straight up. So now let's double that up. So there should be 72 on uh, each list right here. So let's roll it, randomize names and players, six and a five, 11 times. One, there's 72 right there, perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. Got Sean Maddock on the pole and Sean Maddock on the 72 spot. Let's flip over to the first tab. And once again, 11 times, six and a five, 11 times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and finally, 11th and final time. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. all the way down to Rob Gronkowski. All right, so first of all, I'm going to show you the list as is, right? Because we're recording this, obviously, so if you just want to audit your names again, you can definitely do so. And then um, I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can see all of your players grouped together. And then we'll go through that list too. Then I'll pause the video, and then we'll allow for some, uh, for some trading time if people want to trade. And we'll go from there. All right, so you can see that... Sean has Gronk and Mason Mount. So let's sort by column A by your first names. And you'll you'll see Sean and with uh, Mason Mount and Gronk. All right. So back to the top. Alan Matsui, here are your teams or your your teams, your players. Brendan, here are your players. Clayton. Cody. Dano, Big Boys 007, Eric, your two players, Gail, Jesse, Nick F, Nick T with the spots he bought straight up, Nick T with the spots that you won. Nice. Ricky and Sean M. Good set of players there too, Sean. Sean P. Different Sean. A-U as opposed to E-N. Steve, Stephen, Flat, and Timothy. Brady and Elway, that's not too bad either. Now obviously there's only six jerseys, 72 players. So this is definitely a, kind of a lower risk though. It's not, 65 for a for two players is not a, not a bad price point. Um, but a potentially high reward. So I'm going to pause the video. It'll allow people to kind of see their players again if they need to. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break and hopefully pull some monsters. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, no trades. There's a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So let's pop this case open and let's see what happens. All right, first one out of the gate. I think I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn off the top camera, just so it'll be a little more mystery. 
here in this Who Am I? I don't want to accidentally show you who this is. Now, I don't know if Gold Rush gives me the name of names of the player or not. Do we have to... Do I have to play Who Am I? Oh, no, they do tag names of the player here. Oh, all right, nice. All right, who am I? I am an active uh, NBA player, born in Merced, California. Shooting guard, 6'4", 186. Went to college, did not go to college. Went to uh, San Joaquin Memorial and prolific prep in Napa. Then what did he do? He must have gone to... No? Oh, he went He went to the G League. That's why. I was like, what about his one and done year? No, he went to the G League. He signed a G, NBA G League uh, contract with the uh, team Ignite. And became the first player to join that team. And then I scored a season high 30 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds in a loss to the Raptors 905 in the first round of that playoffs and averaged 18 points, four rebounds, and three assists per game. And then I was selected second overall in the 2021 NBA draft. You got it, Kevin. Jalen Green. Now, how is he doing? How is he doing this season? Jalen Green stats. Go. Let's go to basketballreference.com. He's got 14, averaging 14, a few rebounds, a couple assists a game. Oh, he's been out with a hamster. I was like, well, that's not enough games. I think he started off this season showing some, some nice moments. There it is, Jalen Green. There's his autograph. In fact, these are all officially licensed jerseys. I, I mean, if this... If this moves the needle for you, I did post another case right here. So the jerseys alone, nice, have all the, the league logos, right? The manufacturer logos, the, usually most of them have, I mean, this covers the spot of the break already, just the cost of the jersey alone. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna refold all of these really nicely when uh, when we're uh, all done with this video. All right, uh, let's go to the list. I've got this all out. Jalen Green goes to goes to Nick T, who won that spot. All right, next one. All right, what do we have here? All right, who am I? I am an active baseball player. Shortstop slash third baseman, switch hitter, throws right. And I have a total 288 batting average in my career. Seven home runs and 39 runs batted in. Who am I? 
If you, if you know this by these stats, that'd be pretty amazing. Um, my mom, Nancy Ibar, is the sister of Eric Ibar and Willie Ibar, who both played in the major leagues. Um, in my day, MLB debut, I recorded my first career hit, home run, and RBI on a three-run shot off of Red Sox starter Eduardo Rodriguez in the fifth inning. That's a, quite a way to start my career. This was back in June 2021. Brandon O'Neill's got it. Wander front go. <clears throat> nice. Good name, some nice names. Yeah, we got another case up on the site too. If you want to give that a shot. W Franco. There's Franco back here too. That's a real jersey too. They're all licensed. They're all licensed. Oh wow, look at that. World Series patch? No. No World Series patch. Cool. Number five now, right? Yeah, I was. I was like, wait. I, the number threw me off because I was like, I was like, I don't. I thought he's number five. He might have like worn that um, like before he got assigned number five. five. Probably, yeah. They just give him whatever they give. Yeah, I mean, I see. I see him in number four, somewhere, but. Yeah. But that's that's really cool. So you got, this is when they still use the Majestic. There's the Majestic logo. I mean, it's all officially licensed. I mean, there's there's the Majestic tags down here too. That's probably like a $200 jersey. I mean, yeah, the, the jersey itself. Get a closer look at the Rays logo right there. All right, you can just sell the jersey as a jersey and get your spot money back. All right. Don't worry, I'm going to fold these nicely. After uh, after this video and uh, before they get shipped out, so they're not going to be all crinkled up. Big Boys 007, David Harrell with that one. Third jersey. We've got another break of this in the store. We can run this back tonight if you want to. We got time. If this fills by the end of the night, this moves the needle for people. And if we and we have time to play, who am I as well? All right. Next. Ooh, I, I know who this is right away. Active basketball player. Canadian. 6'6", 214, shooting guard, small forward. Uh, went to college for a couple years before being picked third overall by the team that I'm currently on. I was a consensus first team All-American. Uh, won the Jerry West Award, whatever that is. That sounds cool. First team All-ACC. That might start to give it away. ACC All-Freshman. National High School Player of the Year. McDonald's All-American. A FIBA Under-19 World Cup MVP. Won a gold with the Under-19s. Silver with the Under-16s. Had kind of a slow start to my career. But I'm starting to heat up this season. This season. I was drafted in 2019. Oh, it's a little slow in 2019, too. First couple years, I think, maybe were a little slow. But this season, really starting to blossom. Not Jamal Murray, not Wiggins. It's Canadian. Born in Toronto. Went to Duke. Selected by the Knicks 
in 2019, round one, third overall. Canadian Rex. There you go, Danny. RJ Barrett. Kevin's got it too. Lily, uh, Ill Eagle. Ryan. There you go. There's his autograph. Yeah, his autograph, pretty distinctive. Saw the Knicks colors, his auto. Pretty instant right here. Again, these are officially licensed jerseys. So it's worth taking a look at each one of these. If you want to run this back, We've got some available. We got another case available. Pretty awesome stuff, ladies and gentlemen. All right, R.J. Barrett, that goes to Gale. All right, halfway through this break, we got three more jerseys to go. Soccer player. Who am I? Um, 19 years old, forward, plays for Barcelona, Barcelona, and the Spain national team. Uh, apparently, I was born in Guinea-Bissau, but chose to represent Spain on the uh, national team. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good, too. 36 appearances with Barca and um, 14 goals already. Four appearances with Spain and a goal. Number 10. I think Ill Eagle got it. Is that a typo, Ill Eagle? I'm pretty sure he meant to say Fati. Yeah, Nick T, you're right. Ansu Fati. Big Boys 007 with that. Nice. Nice Barca shirt. That's what they call it. These are pretty cool, too. And we've got the Beckett authentication sticker here as well. That's really cool. There's the, uh, there's the badge. The Nike logo right here. That's a really nice jersey. Got the UNICEF logo on the back right here too. The Beckett Authenticity sticker, closer look at his auto. <laughs> oh, Kevin M was also trying to write Fati. It ended up, it, did it autocorrect to Fatima, which is, which is where those kids saw 
Angels in the Sky? You guys remember that? Break number one. That's right, Our Lady of Fatima. Are they, have they been sainted yet? All right. Canonized. All right. This one's easy. Easy. No, I'm not I'm not Catholic, but my grandfather is a Methodist pastor. RIP. All right. I don't know. I read things. I got a lot of Catholic friends. Um baseball player, active baseball player, Venezuelan baseball player, 24 years old. Bats right, throws right, and I have a lifetime 281 average, 105 home runs. 246 runs batted in, 77 stolen bases. Played for one team my entire career, two-time All-Star, NL Rookie of the Year, two-time Silver Slugger Award winner, and NL Stolen Base Leader. And part of the 30-30 club. And I'm only 24. I've only played like four, well, three and a half seasons. I was injured for most of this season. He's pretty good. If you, if you kind of wrap your head around just how good he is, Yep, everyone's got it. Yep, Brendan, Acuna, Ill Eagle. Nope. Nick T got it, though. Stephen Flat got it. Kevin got it. Dano's got it. Ronald Acuna Jr. Get well soon. This is Here's a nice jersey for the world champion Braves. Who has this? Uh, who has Ronald Acuna Jr.? Ricky. Ricky Ferreira with Acuna Jr. There's the JSA tag. A lot, of, a lot of great things to highlight here. The sticker. Look at the stitching on the number. That's how you know these are really nice, officially licensed jerseys. MLB logo. All the Nike information. Ooh, this is sharp. Real sharp. There's all the... Uh, Tags right here to take a look closer look at the tomahawk, the the brave script right here. Nice button down. This is a nice jersey too. You can see that they did the lettering really nice. The stitching on the numbers are really nice too. Excellent, Ricky. Thank you. Break number one, making sure keeping the plastic over it so it doesn't ink doesn't wipe on the jersey. All right, and the sixth and final jersey. Okay, empty box. Yeah, we actually have, well, we did see a football jersey, Adam. We saw, we saw the football jersey on Sufati. I don't know, way too early to tell. The, the injury this season, though, didn't help. All right, we got another baseball player here. All right, who am I? Oh, yeah. 
I uh, I share the name with. Uh, I share the name with the United States Assistant Attorney General for the National Security Division. So if you know that person, you know who this is. Otherwise, I hit 252, 142 home runs, and I have 373 runs batted in. I've uh, been playing since 2016. One team my entire career, still with this team. An all-star, two-time gold glover, three-time fielding Bible award winner. Bats left, well, I'm one of those bat left but throw right kind of guys. Born in Atlanta, Georgia. You know, was I drafted out of high school? I think I was drafted out of high school. Yeah, first rounder in the 2012 MLB draft. I was committed to Vanderbilt but ended up signing with signing with Oakland. Oakland. I should give it away. He's he's pretty solid. I think he's uh, he's a pretty solid player. He's 27, but only 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Has he been six? Wow, I forget that he's been in the league six years already. Yep, Dano, Illegal, Brandon, Matt Olson. Nice. Pretty solid player right here. Let's take a look. I'll bet whoever folds these jerseys for uh, for Gold Rush must be like an expert. I'm sure there's a whole team of it, but team of people that do it, but they just must be experts at this. Nice. You got all the all the retail tags here. The Oakland part looks really nice. That's pretty cool. And this last jersey will go to will go to Brendan Brendan O'Neill with a spot that you won, and you end up with a nice Matt Olson jersey. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Um, we got another one in the store. If you want to run this back, check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.